What's going on YouTube? Demon Ralph here. So two things I wanted to talk about today. One is Evolve gets free to play on PC, which I fucking couldn't stand this goddamn game. I know I made a video a while back. I just deleted it off my channel now, but I still want to be open with everybody. I made a video a while back where I said I respect these developers for coming out and saying like, look, we can't survive on just a $60 release title, which is why we have so much DLC. You know, it, we need to put food on our, on our family's tables. We need to feed our family, support ourselves. So the reason there's so much DLC is pretty much that. This is why there's so much DLC. There's no way we can bring our vision out there without having this huge, crazy amount of DLC or this deal. It was pretty much uh, $60 for the base game and everything else was DLC. It was really crazy how much DLC actually came out with this game. And I respected them for it. As time went on, did my opinion change? Yeah, it changed. I felt that, you know what, maybe they should have released it in tiers or because they were just pouring it out there. Or they should have at least released the game for a cheaper price and had the DLC on top of it. It would have made, it would have given the game a little bit more, uh, a better eye in public, which probably would have generated more sales. You know, if they would have at least did that up front, I think I would have appreciated it a little bit more. However, I felt that the game just had so much DLC and so much missing content and it was so empty at release that charging $60 for it was just fucking retarded. It's just retarded. Now the game is free on PC. Now, how many of you guys have bought this game? I would love to know in the comments. Please tell me how many people bought this game? How many people bought it on PC? How many of you are still playing this game? Probably none of you guys, right? How pissed off are you that you paid $60 for a game that went free to play? What a year later? Has it been a year? <laughs> this came out for next gen console. So it's, it hasn't been that long. You know, it's not the first game to do this. You know, DC Online also did this, but DC Online had a lot of content to offer you for only $15 a month at release. You know what I mean? And this game pretty much had nothing. You had to wait for stuff to come out. You had to wait for new monsters. You had to wait for new characters. You had to wait for new guns. And the whole thing was, the whole point of the game was to take down the monster. Five player, 4v1. If they're the same monsters, you know, and, and the same characters, what are you really doing after a couple of weeks? Nothing. You spend $60 for a couple of weeks. I think that's worth it, right? Uh, th but if the game is based off of, you know, a multiplayer and, and, and invested time and for you to constantly keep playing it, $60 plus all that extra DLC, it just creates a shitty community where the have-nots and the haves are, are at war with each other and it pretty much isolates the people who don't want to spend the money. And that's not right, especially at a full price $60 retail release. That is something you do not want to do. I think it's really bad that this game went free to play. They should have just let well be. But, I mean, hey, they, I guess they still got to make money. So they're trying different things. You know, they uh, they apparently left a, a heartfelt letter on their podcast last night. They talked about how the reception wasn't as expected. They got some good reviews, but there were also bad reviews. And pretty much they want to get their magic back. They've had a lot of changes. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, yeah, it's a heartfelt letter. I'm not trying to undermine anything that the developers are trying to do. They are developers. They need to make money. They need to sell their game. They need to do what they need to do. This is the gaming industry. I understand that. But what a poor launch. If anything, people need to learn from this as an example. Evolve should be an example uh, on how you create your game, how you, you know, release your DLC, and the type of player base you want to have, and the type of game you want in terms of longevity. This should be a very, very important and noted example for those who are into these kind of games and for those who are developing these types of games. Second news I want to discuss is a game that was on PC that was pretty popular in the horror community that was played by a lot of the famous horror YouTubers like, you know, Markiplier and was played by another YouTuber I personally love to death named Poised. I really recommend you guys check his channel out. He is fucking hilarious. He's one of the very few like jump scare YouTubers I like. I actually wanted to do a lot of videos like that because of him. He is an amazing YouTuber, fucking hilarious. His name is Poise, P-O-O-P-O-I-I-S-E-D. -I, -I, I suggest you guys check him out. I'll probably link it in the description below. I don't even know why I'm fucking telling you like to, to type it in and shit. It's so stupid. But there was a game called Emily Wants to Play. And it was pretty much a game where you had these three enemies the entire time. It was a very Five Nights at Freddy's-ish kind of game where you had to survive the nights. Each enemy acted differently and you had to kind of get through the level somehow. And pretty much as the game progressed, it got harder and scarier. And the game is coming to PS4. And this was a very, you know, unique indie horror title. And it's coming to a huge console, PS4. The number one gaming console on planet Earth right now. 
this little tiny PC computer game. Now, not for nothing, I'm going to be 100% honest, I think everybody deserves to play every game. I think, you know, as I've matured and as I've gotten more into PC, you know, I'm not begging for exclusives. I understand if I need exclusives, I need to buy a certain console for that exclusive, which I have done. I own an Xbox One, I own a PS4. I was always a console gamer. I know how the game worked. And I just moved to PC because I preferred better performance. I preferred options. I preferred better graphics. I preferred 60 frames a second at all times. I evolved as a gamer. You know what I mean? Just in general. So the fact that, you know, there are a lot of games exclusive on PC, I wish some of these games were on console only because I want to talk about them with other gamers. There are so many amazing games on PC that don't come to console that I just would love to speak to some of these guys about. And, you know, vice versa in very, very seldom cases, you know, there are a lot of awesome console games that people want to talk to PC gamers about, but usually it's just war. It's all bullshit. But there are so many amazing PC games that just fly under the radar. A game I'll mention off the top of my head is called Feast. If you like Limbo, you'll love a game called Feast. It'll probably never hit console, but it's fucking amazing. It is a great PC exclusive. My kind of game. It's a def it's a dark platformer, just like Limbo. It's awesome. And Inside, which just came out, is also like that. So apparently, you know, you're it's a scary little game where you run around. You know, you got to avoid these enemies, just like Five Nights at Freddy's. And what that's telling me is that's telling me that PC is going to start getting all these little crazy, I mean, sorry, consoles are going to start getting all these little crazy exclusives that PC got. Especially if these these uh, games become popular and popular YouTubers play them, they're going to eventually hit console. Now, I'm kind of torn in between, like, you know, I know I just said I want everybody to play every game, but I'm kind of torn, like, my games, leave my games alone, you know what I mean? Which is kind of silly. I kind of feel like certain games should stay on PC because of how they are. Um, not because I don't want you guys to play them. I just kind of feel like they should stay on PC. These are games that you should really play on your PC with your mouse and get involved, get it hooked into your monitor. These are not really games you lay back and play on your console. Just, just a personal opinion, you know, and I, I honestly think that, like I said, I want everybody to play every game. I, I don't like restrictions, but you know, give me my game. <laughs> don't touch my game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of feel like the, the, these types of games should remain on PC. But the fact that they're coming to console is also amazing. That tells me that, you know, consoles and PCs, soon that line is going to be really blurred. And eventually everything's going to be on a PC. And that PC is either going to have a PlayStation logo, an Xbox logo, or, you know, a fucking NVIDIA logo. Either way, they're all going to be on PCs. They're PCs now. But as time goes on, that line gets thinner and thinner and more blurry, more blurry. I think it's amazing. I think this is a huge step. Even though it's just a little bullshit indie horror game. I think a lot is being said here. There's a lot being said here. Trust me. There's a lot in between the lines. At least I feel. Now, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear what you guys think. This is Demon Ralph signing out.